YouTube, how's everyone doing? One shot bringing you guys a brand new Call of Duty Vanguard video. And in today's upload, it's going to be a short one, but I wanted to go over the perk one tier in Call of Duty Vanguard and what I think is the most viable perk to use in that perk one tier slot. But before I do that, I just want to say thank you to everyone tuning into the channel. If you are new and love Call of Duty Vanguard, please be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I got a bunch of content planned for Vanguard over the next couple weeks, so you won't want to miss that. But let's go ahead and take a look at the perk one. So within the perk one tier slot, we do have six perks available to us being fortified survival training, ninja, dauntless, ghost and cold blooded. And between those six perks, I think there's three that are going to be the most viable within this game. And those are fortified ninja and ghost. So taking a look at fortified here, fortified is essentially the flak jacket of this game. It reduces damage from explosives by 15%. It also doubles the damage reduction while mounted crouch or prone. And then it reduces health regen delay from explosives. So definitely a very good perk to use, especially in the assault and blitz modes where there's a lot of grenade spamming. It's going to help you stay alive a little bit longer and go on those longer kill streaks. So taking a look at Ninja here, Ninja is the dead silence perk of this game. And this is a perk that Sledgehammer Games actually added based on community feedback. This was not available in the beta. And I'm very happy to see that they did that. So with Ninja, you will move silently. And when they say that, they mean it quite literally. With Ninja, you are completely silent. I don't know if you guys saw exclusive Ace's video. He did some testing on the perks and you are completely silent when you use Ninja. So if you want to use that all the time and be completely silent while you're rushing around, Ninja is the perk for you. You will also take reduced damage when falling and it reduces the effectiveness of enemy tracker perks. And then finally here, Ghost, you will be undetectable while moving by spy planes, enemy intel and field mics, and it reduces the effectiveness of local informants. So much like Ghost we've seen in the last couple of Call of Duties, you do have to be moving for this to be in effect, but this is a great perk, especially in a game when there is a lot of UAV spamming going on. So of these three perks, I think Ghost and Ninja are the two most important and the ones that you'll want to run on your classes, but I wanted to put them up against each other and talk about why I think that Ghost is the most important perk in that tier one slot. So as I mentioned, if you guys saw exclusive Ace's video talking about the footstep audio, if you didn't, I will leave a link in the description down below. But basically the comparison is showing Dead Silence and Ninja versus the regular footstep audio and the regular footstep audio is pretty quiet in this game and especially in the blitz and assault combat pacing options the footstep audio really isn't going to make too much of a difference because there's going to be so much going on so you won't be able to use footstep audio as your main source of information as to where the enemies are coming from that's why i think ghost is more important especially in the 12v12 16v16 and the high player count lobbies you'll want to run ghost because chances are a lot of people are going to be running spy planes and being able to be off the mini map and flank around and get to the area on the map that you want to be is a very nice added touch. Now obviously both of these perks are very viable and if there was an option to have a perk one wild card I definitely run both of them but I just don't think the footstep audio is that important and you can't get that much information off of footstep audio especially in the higher player count lobbies where there's a lot of kill streaks and explosives going on. I just think the ghost and being able to be off the mini map with a lot of UAVs in the air is just so much more important than the footstep audio. But that pretty much has it. Let me know what you guys think. What are you running in that perk one tier slot? There's a lot of good perks in this game and especially the perk one tier. It is loaded with some good perks, but I definitely think the ghost is the most important perk in that tier slot. But thank you guys for tuning in. Like I said, if you're new, please be sure to hit that subscribe button for everything Call of Duty Vanguard and I hope to see you in the next video.